Hello friends, now we will see the phase discriminator, its other name it is photocell discriminator. Here in this diagram, even though we are saying that the output of this transformer it is perfectly tuned, secondary particularly. Here FM, it is acting as the input, FM input it is applied in between terminal V1 and V2. So V1 to is the FM input voltage, it is coupled through the tune primary and secondary transformer. Secondary of this transformer it is also center tap. Here additional arrangement is made that is radio frequency choke it is inserted across the center tap so that even though any variation into that frequency will not affect the output voltage. Now here we know the three condition that F in equal to F C. What happened when the input frequency it is equal to the center frequency at that time output voltage V0 equal to 0. Why? Because the upper half voltage and the lower half voltage are exactly the same. Hence, the nature of that it is 180 degree out of phase. Hence, they cancel out each other and output voltage will be 0. Now, F in second case that when the F in it is greater than Fc. That time output voltage V0 it is marching to the positive value because the upper half voltage will be larger than that of the lower half voltage. Hence output voltage will be marching to the positive and third case that when Fn it is less than Fc that time output voltage goes to the negative value. So here the slope of this the main advantage of that this uh, phase discriminator is that the, as compared to the balance slope detector it is showing better linearity in terms of the slope detection here we can learn the operation with the help of phase diagram first case when f in equal to fc that time exact distribution of that voltage that is upper half and lower half voltage are same Hence, output voltage will be 0. Second case, when the upper half voltage it is larger than the lower half voltage under the condition of F in is greater than Fc, that time output voltage marches to the positive value. Third case, when F in less than Fc, that time lower half voltage will be larger than that of the upper half voltage. So, output voltage is marching toward the negative. Now, related with that, the disadvantage that the linearity it is made better with the help of the ratio detector in which the amplitude limiter it is used. Here amplitude limiting action it is provided by the C5 large value capacitor. So here as the V1 increase the secondary voltage is also increased. Okay. Now extra diode current to the diode D1 and D2 will start flowing and the load current increases. But the voltage VAB, VAB voltage it is nothing but a bit in between this one that is across capacitor, same voltage it is acting across the capacitor C5 will not change instantaneously, will increase very gradually. That the load current has increased, but the load voltage in between the terminal V A B is almost constant, and the load impedance is said to be decreased. And due to this, the decreased load impedance, the secondary of the input transformer is heavily damped. And due to this damping, the Q decreases. Hence, therefore, the gain of the amplifier driving the ratio of the ratio detector will also decrease. This will counteract 
with the increase in FM input voltage to the ratio detector. So advantage of this is it is it is very easy to align and it has very good linearity due to the linear phase relationship between primary and the secondary and here amplitude limiting it is provided so additional limiter in this case is not required this is all about the phase discriminator and the ratio detector thank you for watching